B11 Rattle Mouse. This is a three-year-old daughter of Ideal World. She's out of an alarmy mare. She was bred out at the Rathmore Stud, and Robert Carty jumps on board. He had pole position, and uh, she was always in a nice, handy place. There, and the pace was okay, but uh, she's finished the race off well. Yes, uh, Grant. Uh, uh, she came out a little bit sluggish, and the favourite uh, also of uh, Pericle and Greg Shin. They sort of uh, committed, and I was happy to follow them because the way they host to beat uh, on form. But uh, coming to my filly, she's a very nice filly. They say. I just want to take my hat off for. Mr. Oman, Chris Knight, he, you know, he worked with this filly through the season. She was very difficult, and uh, he managed to get her to the track. And Mr. Snade, when he came back from Deben, he did all the work. Just well done to all the guys, uh, Mr. Snade and Mr. Johnson, for all the opportunities. I really appreciate to, to get on a winning board for him, you know, and he's here uh, today as well. well. She's a filly that's going the right way, and she obviously looks like she might get a little bit further as well. Yes, 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 Grant. Uh, she's a lovely filly. She's so chill now. She's quiet. She's just... Uh, she, she just now and then looks around a little bit, but uh, nothing too serious. But she should go on from here. Top job and good ride. Well done. Thanks, Rant. And just well done to my sponsor winning form and to everyone who's concerned to the yard, Janine, uh, Jonathan, and to Mr. Johnson who's made a trip. Just appreciate the opportunities. Great stuff. Well done, Robert. Hopefully we get to chat to you again as well. Justin, nice to start the meeting with uh, a winner like this as well. And uh, I feel it looks like she's going to go places a bit. Yes, look, it was a very competitive field. And uh, some of the horses in this race, the pedigrees were phenomenal. So I was, we actually went, been, went very quiet in being too bullish because uh, it's just... Uh, as it, yeah, exactly. Cape Town made and, and uh, just uh, really happy. Uh, Robert puts a lot of work in. We offered the ride to a couple of jockeys that didn't want to ride it and uh, uh, it was great because then it worked out perfectly. Robert can ride it every day at home and, uh, uh, you know, get to know her. And she's just, there's something about her. I mean, her, her first run was a cracker. Her second run was amazing first time around the turn. And, and now her third start over a mile, she wins. So uh, really well done to the whole team uh, and to the Millard family. Condolences from my family to yours because um, we all like second, third generations in this game. Uh, and my father, he was always a gentleman my father always looked up to, and I'll never forget my father phoning him, uh, Mr. Millard, all the time, asking for advice in certain matters. And then when I started training, I, started, I did the same thing. I'd phone him if there's anything I needed answering. Uh, he was the, the trainer that I think Mike Decock, Sean Terry, myself, you know, young guys like Brett Crawford, we've always looked up to. You know, he was the guy that set the, the bar in South African training. And if you ever wanted to break any South African record, you had to either beat his record or it was Jeff Woodruff's or Tony Millard. So it's, it's just an amazing family. And now we see uh, Lucinda Woodruff taking over the, the mantelpiece. So uh, incredible generations, dynasty, and really well, uh, uh, you know, sad news. But, um, you know, uh, condolence to all of them. Well said. And the one thing that everyone did say, that he was always happy to give the advice when people called him as well. But Justin, well done to you. You've got some nice runners in the day. Hopefully we get to chat to you a little bit later on as well. Some competitive racing today. I really hope so. Thank you. Brilliant stuff. Nick's on course as well. Nice to have him here in the Western Cape. Nick, well done. And uh, nice one early on in the day. Yeah, thanks. Hi, Grant. Thanks so much. In terms of obviously this filly, she's uh, doing everything right at the moment. She's obviously only had her third start now, up to the 1600 metres. And I thought Robert handled her well. Yeah, he, he, he rode her beautifully. She's not the easiest as you can see, but uh, you know, couldn't have her with, uh, with better people than the Snaiths when you have a difficult horse like this. They really put a lot of effort in and, um, and school, have schooled her for months very beautifully and she, she ran a great race. And uh, look, let's hope she goes on with it. I must say, I, I, if there was one race that I wasn't uh, really desperate to win today was this one because I, I just saw Henry and, and Pat Devine and they've come all the way to watch their filly who was the favorite. And I, I, I sort of slightly hoped that they'd win actually. <laughs> Um, they're such wonderful people and uh, we have a close connection to them because my uncle bred Jetmaster and they always were so kind and involved him in Jetmaster's career so, so uh, if they're listening I'm very sorry that we had to, we had to win but um, I'm sure they're fully all win many more for them yeah, We spoke about Terence Malod and you think of the Divines now as well they've been in the game for so so long as well what they did with Jetmaster as well and uh, great to, they could still get to the course on a day like this but you've got some nice runners later on as well so it's an exciting day Sajdiv may be a bit disappointing last time out but he gets a chance to make amends Yeah we've got some nice runners today um, yeah Sajdiv was um, disappointing but he, he wasn't uh, he wasn't too well off the race last time so with a bit of luck he'll, he'll be a bit better today um, look it's a tough race Obviously, African Warrior is uh, the horse to beat, and and he's uh, done nothing wrong. He's he's you know, he's a he's a smashing horse, so so let's hope we can uh, put up a good show.
Fantastic. Great to have you here. Thanks, Grant. Brilliant stuff. Nick Johnson here, and he leads in the winner at number 11, Rattle Mouse, the daughter of Ideal World. Well done to the Rathmore Stud and to Mike McHardy and his team. This is a nice horse that uh, looks to have a couple more wins in the tank. Flirt is in. We're set to go. Gates are back. Fight away.